Planets, asteroids and meteors, August is one of the best night months of the year for astronomical events. This is primarily due to the Perseids, arguably the best meteor shower of the year. But the Perseids aren't the only thing worth seeing in the night sky this month. The August night sky has plenty else to see. August 6th, conjunction of the Moon and Venus. The Moon and Venus will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing Ferding 44s to the north of Venus. The Moon will be one days old. The Moon will be at Mag 8.4 and Venus at Mag 3.9, both in the constellation Leo. The pair will be too widely separated to fit within the field of view of a telescope, but will be visible to the naked eye or through a pair of binoculars. August 12th, peak of the Perseid meteor shower. If you love the night sky, you already know what makes the night so special. It's the peak of the Perseids. The Perseids meteor shower peaks every year in mid-August. This peak is expected to occur overnight on the 13th. At its peak, you can expect to see up to 150 meteors per hour. This, combined with warm weather in the northern hemisphere, makes it the most popular meteor shower of the year. The Perseids meteor shower is caused when the Earth passes through a stream of debris left by the comet 109P or Swift Tuttle. Swift Tuttle has a 133 year orbital period, but we experience a yearly meteor shower due to variations in the Earth's orbit and width of the debris stream. To spot the Perseids, look for them radiating from a point in the northeastern sky. The best part of trying to view the Perseids meteor shower this year is the moon phase. A nearly new moon on the peak night will present zero interference with spotting as many shooting stars as you can. August 14th, Mars and Jupiter race. At the start of the month, Mars starts in pole position with Jupiter far behind. Over the course of two weeks, Jupiter will appear to approach closer to Mars in the sky until the tables finally turn on 14th August when Jupiter overtakes entirely. Look out for them rising in the northeastern sky just before 1 a.m. on 14th August. You'll see the two planets close together in the constellation of Taurus. You'll know which is which, because Jupiter will be almost 5x brighter than Mars, with Mars on the right and Jupiter below to its left. If you take a look at the same time and place on 15th August, they'll have swapped over. Make the most of the two planets being so close, because continuing into August, the gap between them will grow as Jupiter storms ahead. August 17th, K Cygnid Meteor Shower 2024. The K Cygnid Meteor Shower will be active from 3 to August to 25 August, producing its peak rate of meteors around 17 August. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing K Cygnid meteors whenever the shower's radiant point in the constellation Draco is above the horizon. The shower is likely to produce its best displays in the hours around 22 L IST when its radiant point is highest in the sky. You can expect around three meteors per hour. August 19th, full moon. The moon will be located on the opposite side of the Earth as the sun and its face will be, will be fully illuminated. This phase occurs at 1827 UTC. This full moon was known by early Native American tribes as the sturgeon moon because the large sturgeon fish of the Great Lakes and other major lakes were more easily caught at this time of year. This moon has also been known as the green corn moon and the grain moon. Since this is the third of four full moons in this season, it is known as a blue moon. This rare calendar event only happens once every few years, giving rise to the term once in a blue moon. There are normally only three full moons in each season of the year. But since full moons occur every 2953 days, occasionally, a season will contain four full moons. The extra full moon of the season is known as a blue moon. Blue moons occur on average once every 2.7 years. August 24, Lunar Occultation of Saturn. There's a rare lunar occultation of the planet Saturn visible from the UK on the morning of 21st of August 2024. This is a great chance to see one of the most inspiring sights in planetary observing as Saturn will disappear behind the Moon from our perspective on Earth, only to reappear 45 minutes later. 
Although the moon looks impressive and dominant in a dark sky, its apparent size is actually only half a degree across. The moon is able to move around the sky in a relatively narrow corridor, approximately 10 degrees wide, centered on the ecliptic. August 27th, conjunction of the moon and Jupiter. The moon and Jupiter will share the same right ascension, with the moon passing 5 to 40 d to the north of Jupiter. The moon will be 23 days old. The moon will be at mag 11.6 and Jupiter at mag 2.3, both in the constellation Taurus. The pair will be too widely separated to fit within the field of view of a telescope or pair of binoculars, but will be visible to the naked eye. August 28th, conjunction of the moon and Mars. The moon and Mars will share the same right ascension with the moon passing five degrees 16 us to the north of Mars. The moon will be 24 days old. At around the same time, the two objects will also make a close approach, technically called an appulse. The moon will be at mag 11.4 and Mars at mag 0.8, both in the constellation Taurus. The pair will be too widely separated to fit within the field of view of a telescope or pair of binoculars, but will be visible to the naked eye. August 31st, Origid Meteor Shower 2024. The Origid Meteor Shower will be active from 28 August to 5 September, producing its peak rate of meteors around 31 August. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing origid meteors whenever the shower's radiant point, in the constellation Auriga, is above the horizon. With the number of visible meteors increasing, the higher the radiant point is in the sky. The shower will not be visible before around 2357 each night, when its radiant point rises above your eastern horizon. It will then remain active until dawn breaks around Oro 531. The shower is expected to reach peak activity at around 03 caller IST on 1st September 2024, and so the best displays might be seen before dawn on 1st September and after the radiant rises on 30 Wars August. Hope you will enjoy the August 2024 night sky events. If you enjoyed watching the video, do give us a like, also share the same with astronomy lovers, and subscribe to Secrets of Space for astronomy update. Thank you for watching.